from NBC News. This is Today. Recording Saturday night, night, almost. April turns 80. Yeah. Right? <laughs> looking gorgeous. And then imagine what it would have been like to sit down and talk with the likes of Frank Sinatra, Sophia Loren, or Marilyn Monroe. Well, a new book by movie critic Jeffrey Lyons chronicles his father's chats with those stars and more. We'll hear all about life inside the lion's den. That's right. And we're four at a Bank of America near you. We're talking 3% back on gas. For 40 years, movie critic Jeffrey Lyons' dad, Leonard Lyons, met and wrote about the greats of the golden era. Marilyn Monroe, Sophia Loren, Joe DiMaggio, Frank Sinatra, President Truman, and so many others. The best anecdotes from those columns are now compiled into a book. It's called Stories My Father Told Me, Notes from the Lions. Then. Jeffrey Lyons, good to see you. Hey, Al. It's great fun working with you two all these years here We worked for a long NBC. time at WNBC, and uh, I grew up here. I remember reading your dad's column uh, in, in the New York Post. It must have been, you know, that, that was a whole different era. Your dad started out as a lawyer. How did he end up writing a column like well, that? Well, he started out as a lawyer, and then he began writing for the Jewish Daily Forward. They had an English page. The paper still exists. And he started contributing to the other columnists of the day. And then when Winchell created this big column uh, in the Daily Mirror, the Post wanted a columnist. And they held a con uh, contest, and he beat out 500 aspirants and began in 1934 and wrote six days a week, a thousand words a day for 40 years. And I have all 12,478 columns and went through all of them. And, and you, you know, the, the people your dad met and, and rubbed shoulders with, we got a picture from the cover of the book. Yeah. Uh, it's your dad, your mom, and Marilyn Monroe. Right. It was taken, taken by Sam this. Shaw, who took the picture of Marilyn on the subway grating, and look how angry my mother looks. And when people see the cover of the book... <laughs> look at that look. She's right. Like... And when people say, isn't she gorgeous? I say, yes, yeah, so is Marilyn. Too. <laughs> right. But my dad was not only knew them, he didn't write a gossip column. Column. He didn't write with his eye on the keyhole, right. and that's why he became friends with them. I mean, Orson Welles was his best friend, mm -hmm. and the book covers anecdotes literally from Charlie Chaplin to Penelope Cruz, because in the back I have my interviews from the time I was here at NBC. And, and in fact, uh, uh, Marilyn Monroe gave you a special 16th birthday present? Yes, she called me, I mean, and I don't know whether she practiced singing for President Kennedy or what, but she called me on my 16th birthday, But because mm -hmm. the column was the key to everything. My dad pushed the plunger that blew up the bridge on the River Kwai. We wow. were Truman's guest in the White House. Hemingway taught us, uh, took me to highlight games, taught mm -hmm. me how to fire a rifle. Changed our lives. Tell me about Joe DiMaggio. Joseph Paul DiMaggio of Martinez, California, was a good friend of my dad's. Didn't know what to do with his life after his playing days. Very shy, but he came to my bar mitzvah, he came to my family's home, and he was a quiet, elegant gentleman and uh, just a larger-than-life person. And, and Sophia Loren actually made you a spaghetti dinner? She did. She did. When I was in Spain, I was 11, and as Mel Brooks said, about that age, I thought girls were just softer fellas. But uh, <laughs> Sophia cooked me a spaghetti dinner, and I saw her five years later at a movie opening, and she said, how was the dinner? There she is. Those are home movies. I took those movies of her. That Sinatra. The movie was the pride and the passion. And then I saw her five years later, and she said, you didn't tell me how the spaghetti was. She's a remarkable lady. Speaking of uh, the chairman of the board, your dad wrote the first item about Frank Sinatra. Yeah, apparently, yeah. One of the first, uh, certainly one of the first. Uh, during the war, Sinatra was walking down the street with his, with his agent, and they just had a big tiff with the press, and the agent caught a glimpse of a banner headline and quickly raced over and bought the paper and breathed a sigh of relief. It said, Allies Pound Sumatra. <laughs> Those are the kind of stories that are in the book that make the that make my favorite is Phil Silvers who lived in our building mm -hmm. and he was a, a MGM contract player and he was signed to be in Pride and Prejudice to audition could anything be more British he said I'm a Jewish comic from Brooklyn who how, well, why are you thinking of me to play the vicar they said be quiet learn the lines and audition so he shows up and they said I think you should not get married then and his line was Feist the vault. Thank you, Mr. Silver. <laughs> <laughs> the book is Stories My Father Told Me, Jeffrey Lyons. Al, it's oh, great to see you again. He's right. already working on the sequel. <laughs> All right. And up next,